Imagine a world where the most common of materials, rusting iron, is a multifunctional tool in the domain of medicine. Imagine that it could be used for a diagnostic as well as a curative intervention on several levels. <music> Professor Heinrich Hoffmann is perfecting an application of iron oxide which may allow us to pick up the fight against cancer, thanks to the use of magnetic fields. This is now our suspension with nanoparticles. This is iron oxide, which is, you can call it also rust. You will see that this particle react in a magnetic field. They start to move depending on the magnetic field and they form with the magnetic field nice tips, for example. This can we now use in for medical application, for example, as a contrast agent or if we increase the frequency of the changing of the magnetic field, then we can heat the nanoparticle and with this, and we can kill the tumor cells and so we can treat the cancer. And we try to understand how the nanoparticles interact with the cells. For example, if they enter into the cells or if they stay at their surface. So for that, we culture the cells in a dish, what we call in vitro culturing. So this allow us not only to understand how the cells behave in the presence of the nanoparticles, but also to predict the behavior of the nanoparticles in the body for the detection and the treatment of diseases, for example, of tumors. I'm leading a team of 17 physicists and engineers who are developing novel MRI methodology on this very powerful magnet, which is here in the background. That will not only be used to improve the diagnosis, but also of the follow-up therapy and treatment of the patients that are concerned with that disease. So these are the nanoparticles which you have seen before, which are developed at the EPFL. And here in the shoe, we are going to use this type of contrast agent to detect cancer in patients. So how this works is as follows. So we have this iron oxide-based contrast agents. They are immersed in a liquid, as you can see here. This will be injected in the bloodstream of the patient and then those contrast agents will accumulate in those regions of the body where there is cancer. And then using MRI with novel techniques we uh, make here in the shoe, we can detect these very bright regions in MRI images where those contrast agents accumulate in cancer tissues, whereas in the dark regions are the healthy um, tissues. So in this way we can detect the cancer in the patients. In the near future, new treatments against cancer may present themselves. Non-toxic treatments, which would serve both as diagnostic and as curative interventions. Music